Can you eat the Amanita muscaria or fly agaric? Let's get into it. So despite the name fly agaric, it is not in the agaric family. It is actually an Amanita, which is one of the most deadly sort of genus of mushroom out there, the Amanita family. So of course you do need to be very careful when handling, touching, foraging, looking for these mushrooms out in the wild. I've done plenty of videos on mushroom foraging in the past, so go and check those out, especially in the UK and in the Northern Hemisphere and Europe. We have two of the most world's deadliest mushrooms in the Amanita family. The death cap and the destroying angel, both of which you do not want to ingest. So you have to fully ingest the mushroom to die. I've done a video where I actually licked the world's uh, deadliest mushroom, or one of the world's most deadly mushrooms, the destroying angel here, just to sort of prove that you have to fully ingest it. Destroying Angel, one of the UK's most deadly mushrooms. So just a quick bit of anatomy really, um, Amanita have to be ingested fully <laughs> in order to cause any real issue. So you can touch, you can pick, you can even lick deadly poisonous mushrooms in the UK, or most of. I wouldn't advise it, please don't do it, please, please don't do it. So yeah, don't believe the hype. Don't be such a microphile, uh, microphobic, sorry. Try and be more microphile when you're out. Um, and just respect nature. Give it, you know, the, the utmost respect that it deserves. Read about it, research, and look at science-based evidence before you try any mushroom. You know, really, really learn your stuff, please, before you go out foraging. You know, stay safe out there, guys. Always, always respect your mushrooms. Never munch on a hunch. Never try anything you're uncertain of. Never pick anything you're uncertain of. Check with field guides, field knowledge, that kind of thing. Check with experts. Go on foraging courses. So, can you eat it? I mean, technically, yes. If it's certainly if it's prepared in the right way, and if it's taken and consumed in a very small dose. However, should you eat it? No. I would not condone eating this mushroom to anybody or any viewer that watches my content. As I've said before on numerous different occasions, out on my mushroom foraging, if in doubt, leave it out. Now, although fatalities from Amanita muscaria are very, very rare, but again, it is very dangerous and very, very risky and volatile should you consume too high a dose of either one of them, but especially ibotenic acid. A high dose of ibotenic acid can lead to seizures, cardiac arrest, heart failure, heart attacks. And when foraging for these mushrooms, it's very, very difficult to determine cap by cap how much of each compound these mushrooms contain. Underlying health condition that can cause things like fits, seizures, and cardiac issues already, do not consume this mushroom. Do not consume it anyway, but certainly if you have an underlying health condition like epilepsy or cardiac issues at all, if you're tachycardic, if you're bradycardic, if you've got hypertension, if you've got hypotension, do not use this mushroom. So do not, I repeat, do not, do not do this. So please stay safe guys. If you have liked this video at any point, give it a little like below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.